Welcome back to The Daily Poem here on the Close Reads Podcast Network. I'm David Kern. Today is Thursday, April 23rd, 2020. Um, I am <laughs> I'm back in my car recording again. Um, and uh, as I'm sitting here, I'm, I'm watching the rainfall and I'm watching the, uh, the wind blow through the trees. And it's chilly outside, uh, at least for here in the south. And so I wanted to share a poem that I enjoy um, that is about a spring rainstorm. It's by William Carlos Williams, who was an American poet who lived from 1883 to 1963. Uh, one of the more interesting American poets. Uh, there's a great book about his work and, and his ideas of poetry by Wendell Berry called William Carlos Williams of Rutherford. Highly recommend you check that out. It's one of my favorite books of uh, books about any poem, any poet, and uh, about poetry in general. And the poem that I'm going to read today is called Spring Storm. It's not long. It goes like this. The sky has given over its bitterness. Out of the dark change, all day long, rain falls and falls as if it would never end. Still the snow keeps its hold on the ground. But water, water from a thousand runnels, it collects swiftly, dappled with black, cuts away for itself through green ice in the gutters. Drop after drop, it falls from the withered grass stems of the overhanging embankment. When I read poems like this, of which William Carlos Williams wrote several, I am always surprised by the fact that at the end there is nothing more. The poem's over. As if there is supposed to be, you know, some sort of uh, thematic conclusion that summarizes the end, or summarize, you know, that, that brings the beginning back around again. So, for example, that opening line is so, uh, the, the opening two lines are so fascinating, so, so dramatic, so powerful. The sky has given over its bitterness. The poem begins. There's this deep, rich, uh, thematic, almost like a, a Victorian uh, theme going on here. And you sort of expect him to come back around to it in the end, but he doesn't directly come back to it. The idea of bitterness is not directly referenced again. Uh, we don't even get a, a reference to the sky again in, in the same way. And at the end, we have had this scene created for us, and then the poem ends. It ends with the word embankment. William Carlos Williams does this a lot. Lots of, lots of poets do. But it's amazing to me how someone like William Carlos Williams is able to capture so much meaning with so little effort. And I don't mean that it, I don't mean effort in the sense that it doesn't t- that 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 he didn't put effort into his poems or that they were not difficult or he didn't work hard at them. That's not what I mean at all. What I mean is that he uses so little uh, poetic real estate, you know, so few lines, uh, and and uh, offers so few. Uh, real conclusions, and yet the poems can offer such a punch. They can pack such a punch, if you will. Certainly, that opening, that opening couplet, "The sky is given over its bitterness," is uh, is the first, the first step towards that, that punch, <laughs> if you will. And I think what happens here is, despite not returning to it, that first line sets up all of the images to mean something. So the sky is given over its bitterness, and then the rest of the poem seems to be an explanation of what that means. What it means for the sky to give over its bitterness. When the sky is given over its bitterness, the rain falls and falls as if it will never end. The snow keeps hold on the ground. Water collects swiftly, dappled with black, cuts away for itself through green ice in the gutters and drop after drop it falls from the withered grass stems. Like, this is the way that this guy gives over its bitterness. And the great thing about this is, you know, I appreciate that he doesn't give us a conclusion here, even if when the first time you read it, it feels as if you want one, because that leaves me thinking about what it means, one, for this guy to give over its bitterness, and two, for that um, that bitterness to be working its way uh, in uh, collect, uh, you know, from a thousand runnels, it's collecting swiftly in the gutters and uh, falling from the withered grass stems over the overhanging embankment. 
um, it, it leaves me it leaves me with an image to think about over and over and over again. And thus it leaves me wanting more in the way that I think a great poem often does and, and probably should. So one more time, here is Spring Storm by William Carlos Williams. The sky has given over its bitterness. Out of the dark change, all day long, rain falls and falls as if it would never end. Still the snow keeps its hold on the ground. But water, water from a thousand runnels, it collects swiftly, dappled with black, cuts away for itself through green ice in the gutters. Drop after drop, it falls from the withered grass stems of the overhanging embankment. This has been The Daily Poem. Thanks so much for listening. I'll be back tomorrow with another poem for you.